good morning. Today is a big day indeed. A big day indeed. Big day. It's totally a big busy day. I just got to remember to get the camera out because we're going to be so busy doing so many things today. So many appointments. Like seriously. It's like I have 12 arms. And it's only 9.08 a.m. We are usually still laying in bed right now. And you've already weighed in today. And we already had a weigh in today. Bad news, guys. I went up. How much did I gain, Brett? 312. <laughs> uh, no, you gained, uh, like... Three pounds. Three pounds, I think? Here's the thing. I want to, I want to like, explain myself a little bit. <laughs> the scale that I was on in when we were in Long Beach, when I weighed in on that scale at the Holiday Inn, right before me and Casey were going to fly home, I felt like it was inaccurate. Because, like, when I weighed myself and it said I was 225, I was like... No way. 9.6 pounds in a week is huge. I thought, well, I had been walking all day, like five or six miles a day at Lollapalooza and sweating. Maybe I did lose 9.6 pounds, but I don't think I did. But the thing is, it's frustrating because I did probably lose like six pounds. So I wish it would have been accurate because this week I gained three. So I, what was I at? 228.2, which is, which is still, I'm below 230, which is amazing for me to be below 230. The last time I weighed 230, this was for ever ago. If anybody remembers me and my buddy Adam James, he was one of the radio DJs that I worked at at Z103. He did the show right before mine. Anyways, we had, I even have the check in my pocket still. We bet $500 and here's how we did the bet. We both wrote each other a $500 check. So we both had our checks and I wrote mine to Adam James and he wrote his to mine, Shea, to me, Shea Butler. So we switched checks. I still have his check in my pocket. This is like three years ago. So the goal was whoever lost 20% of their body weight first got to cash the other guy's check. Well, the bet like never really ended up happening and I still have his check in my pocket. I should go cash it. <laughs> Adam James, if you're watching, I'm going to go cash your $500 check. 20% is a lot. I know. So, because I was like bigger than him and I remember when we weighed in at his apartment in Idaho, um, I was like 230 something and this was like three years ago. So now I'm 228. I'm lighter than I was then. I'm doing good is what I'm saying. Well, yeah. I, just, I feel good. I feel like I'm on track. Even though I gained a couple pounds, it doesn't affect me. Like I know I can lose those pounds by the end of today. You made a pretty just crazy because Promise, though, I did. Weight. I said if I gained weight, I'm gonna make a video every day on the Shea Loss channel. I did gain weight, so I'm gonna make a video every day. They're just gonna be one take of me vlogging. Maybe we're gonna go surfing, Ron. You wanna go surfing tomorrow? Really? Yeah. I'm, Ron's gonna. I've never ever surf. Yeah, you want to come boogie boarding? Ron, there's this girl who works at Maker Studios who's a surf teacher, and she's going to be working with mom, mommy yes. tard, on a few things, and she's going to teach us how to surf. I think we're going to go do that tomorrow, so if you guys want to see that, um, go to Shay Loss and subscribe. Here we go. We're going to hang out with Shira Lazar on the set of What's Trending. Let's go! Can I have a shake, Can I have a shake? 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 Can I Cool. And don't be afraid to laugh and clap. Have a good time. I'm and taking you over your video blog. It's the Shira vlog now. <laughs> we have a music video coming out with an artist called Jacqueline Jackson Harris. It's coming out on the 22nd. Um, I just launched my seventh episode of the Tag Your Green Road Trip. I did with General Electric. I went all over the country checking out cool green technology. And you're losing weights. I am? You know this? What are you talking you about, Shira? You look slim. <laughs> Actually, I was telling Damon on the way up here, I'm going for like the ugliest guest ever on what's no. I told my audience that I'm not going to shave my beard or my hair until I get down to 200 pounds. So it's like, this, right now. I'm at 225, so I got 25 pounds more you to go. It. I won't be as ugly. I'm like, well, this doesn't feel like what happened here, right? Right. It almost looks like it's staged, just like the way they're standing there, like, we're going to take you. But uh, what I would really love to see is candidates do live shows. Like, un like I know that presidential candidates, they have a million guys around them, like, you gotta be careful, don't say this, don't say this. But I feel like our generation would like to see a candidate who's like willing to be like, let's do a live show, let's hop on Ustream, I'll just read the comments as they come in, and whichever one I see, I'll answer. And, yeah. You know, you get, you get, you know, any of these presidential candidates, I think the younger generation would appreciate that. If they, like, really can Instead of doing an organized one, I mean, they do organized live streams. Yeah, that's all put together. Better. If they just, like, just sat out in their office and you saw a presidential candidate, you know, he's got his little posters on the wall, like, succeed and all that stuff. <laughs> he's doing that's a live show, all. his wife comes in, she's like, what do you want for dinner? I would vote for that guy. Yeah. I picture, you know, like, my kid, you know, any kids out there, I'm sure there's all these kids that have iPads and iPhones, like, that stumble upon this, it's like, oh, whoops. Look at, look at Eduardo and Monica, they're on the beach. 
Here in LA? Yeah. Pasadena. Guys, I just finished with my part on the What's Trending show. Now, Morgan Spurlock, the guy I told you about, he Skyped us in. So, uh, they're talking about his movie right now. Kina Granis, you guys know, YouTuber Kina Granis, is over there. She's about to perform as soon as this bit is over. They, like, recorded this earlier because Morgan was busy uh, waiting for this to finish, and then Kina Granis is going to play. It's exciting. And I'm here with Amy Jo Martin. <laughs> She's on the show with me. We were, like, fighting about porn and stuff. Yeah, so serious and then so funny. <laughs> that was funny how they went from that horse headed thing to, like, all those people wrecking. I was like, oh, that was a crazy transition. You guys can watch the show. I'll put a link down. You can come to the What's Trending website and watch the show um, even if you missed it live because they, they, they put it on the website too, don't they? Yeah, Bye. Very good. Yeah, links below if you guys go check it out. Number one done. We're finished with the What's Trending show. That was a lot of fun. I hope I had said something good. It's one of those things that just happens so fast. You're like, whoa, what did I say? Was it yeah. funny? Was I stupid? Did I like butt in too much? Did I look dumb? My mouth felt dry because I was like nervous. Like right before I used to wrestle or like run cross country, my I'd get like cotton mouth. And they had a water there for me. I was like so glad they had this cup of water. But I drank it all in like the first two minutes and then I still had cotton mouth. I was like, oh, I need more water. <laughs> right here on which one? Yes. Barham. Turn right on Barham Boulevard. So right now, we're heading to Lynette, is that her name? Lynette Corolla. We talked to you guys about this yesterday's video, but we're going to their podcast right now. Um, if you don't know who she is, Adam Corolla, oh snap. Just kidding. Check out that bad boy, that is sweet. Are these Adam Corolla's cars? Uh, you know, who's are these? Actually Adam's friend from high school and his cousin's car. <laughs> that, that one back there is Adam's car. That's underneath the tarp. Right underneath there. the tarp? Oh, wow, man. These are sweet. Yeah, GT350, dude. Yeah. These are nice. Come here. Come here. No touch the cars, kids. You cut your arms off. What? Here we are at the podcast. Tell them your names. This I'm is I'm Lynette Corolla. This is Adam Corolla's. You're gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. You better follow that up with that. <laughs> uh, you have a really good personality. <laughs> oh, super smart. I have great balance. You uh, great balance. Your credit score is like over 700, it's, isn't it? It's really high. It's, it's really high. <laughs> so we're here doing the podcast. Check out their show. We already actually talked about you guys last night. We oh, showed you your website. Yeah, oh. we got on your website on the parent experiment Sweet. and we showed it so there's a link you guys below go click on it I'm not yeah. talking to you radio people I'm talking to you video people <laughs> go watch these guys or listen we're to really it. funny and we swear a lot they cuss so don't get mad <laughs> they've only cussed once today though so they owe us five dollars we got a five we got a swear jar that we oh, have you in do? Here. Oh. no we don't we don't <laughs> I would owe her like a thousand dollars a day okay our two shows are done now we uh, just ran back home to drop the family off Brett is uploading the video as we speak and eating his lunch and I I am headed right now to go to a meeting with Tweak Footwear to talk about the Shea Carl shoe. Do you have any requests on what you want on the shoe? I did not just have a burger and fries. But my dad had fat, fat burger, I'm fat burger, fat burger. I'm a very supportive wife. Of my weight loss. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> These fries, fries are awful. Oh, they're disgusting. Yeah, I bet. They look disgusting. <laughs> look at old Sun and himself Jeez, out there. I'm so there. excited. Look at him. He's just out there laying in the sun. Why does he lay on the mattress? There's a mattress right there, but he'd rather lay on the sidewalk. I think because of their sun's been warm. out there. He likes the warmness. He's what Mr. Naptard. In his old age, he's retired. He just lays yeah. around most days, just chilling out. I just yeah. fed him, too, by the way. I think he was just... You know, nervous and playing with the other dogs. Yeah, so he, he lost, lost, lost a lot of weight. All He's right. on the Shea Lost. He's plan. on the Shea Lost. Brad, you got my keys for my truck? Yeah, I put them in the cupboard. In the cupboard? Like next to the sugar? Okay, you guys, you know what's exciting? Oh, right there. 
Guess who's coming tomorrow? Guess who's moving here tomorrow? Casey LeVere and his family. My brother and his family are moving to Los Angeles tomorrow. Can you freaking believe it? I can't believe it. That's insane. So, would you make you upset if I hang out with him more than you do? Yes. We become best friends. <laughs> you and Casey. Of course, go subscribe to my freaking brother. He's my brother. We're gonna be making a ton of videos together. Bye, guys. I'm headed to the meeting. Okay, guys, let's go to this meeting. Hey, guys, here I am at the meeting. I've We've had a crazy day together, haven't we? We've already been to two shows. Now we're here at Tweak Footwear, right here, and we're discussing the Shea Carl shoe. So here's some um, submissions that you guys, you guys got this off my Facebook? Is that what yeah, you got? Yeah, the application, the Facebook application. Okay, so you guys know I've been putting down in my pants a link to go check out or to submit ideas for the Shea Carl shoe. So we're here right now trying to decide how we want it, how we want it to look, what we want on the shoe. And we already have all these suggestions that you guys have sent in. You know, have it say PDF and P, pictures of the family. You know, with Rhett and Lynx, they had their faces on the right one. I love how it's right with Rhett and left with Link. Little things like that were genius. If you guys remember a long time ago, this is the shoe that I bought of Rhett and Link's shoe. It has this nice little pick holder in it, and this flips up, and it flips down. My friend, he loves Rhett and Link, and I went to this golf tournament, and he ended up taking the golf tournament badge and putting my name in, because I was wearing oh, these shoes so cool. at the golf tournament. <laughs> so he put my little thing, it said Shea Butler, like in the back of this, and he made me wear it at this purple tee open. So now we're here trying to figure out what we want the Shea Carl shoe to look like, and we want your guys' help, your suggestions. Let me first tell you what I want, and then you guys can kind of like suggest ideas. I want something that's simple, that you can wear to school, that it's not like super nerdy, that has like my giant face on it, is what I'm saying. I love this shoe design. I bought a pair of Supras a little while ago. These guys actually helped design Supras, which is doubly impressive. But I love a shoe like this, you guys. I think a little, like on the back here, it would have like this image, you know, like the little Shea Carl logo with the SC and the hat, just right here on the back. And then maybe something on the side or the front. What I'm trying to say is I don't want my face or my name on it a ton of times. So what do you guys think? Submit ideas, submit pictures. If you guys are designers or if any of you can, you know, do some of this stuff or like get on here and recreate some of this, we'll take your submissions and we'll run with them. We'll really use them if we like them and we think they're good. So like I said, link in my pants. Go check out their Facebook link and kind of have that idea in mind. Minimal Shea Carl branding, just a little bit. You know, we could do something inside. You know, we could put Mommy Tard in there. Or maybe put the kids' names or something on the inside. But on the outside, like I said, I just want it minimal. So what do you guys think? Leave comments below what you think. What do you guys think? That it's going to be a really awesome shoe. It's going to be sweetness. We're going with it. It's going to be rock and roll. We're waiting for you. Yes, we want your it's guys. Be the best shoe ever. Ever. And then we got all these other shoes. This is Timothy Day Alleghettos. Look at all these YouTubers. Charles Trippy shoes. Right there, the CTFXCs, Wheezy Waiter got his shoe. I didn't even know this. There's little alligators because of the alligator pit. Did you guys know that in Wheezy Waiter's shoe? He has an alligator pit. Plus, can I show this shoe? I'm pumped about this. This is one thing that I said to Tweak when they first called me. They said, hey, Shay, we want to make a shoe. And I'm like, I don't want to because Red and Link made the coolest shoe there is. And I feel like my shoe won't be as cool as theirs. And I won't want to promote it because it won't be as cool as Red and Link's shoe. This is Red and Link's new shoe. How freaking sweet is that? And apparently they were wearing this at VidCon. I told these guys I want one of these ASAP, and I want it for free. <laughs> I'm God. not paying for it. So look at this. Red Link, can they, where can they get this? Are these available yet? Yeah, all for sale on TweakFootwear.com. <laughs> TweakFootwear.com, free promotion. Check them out. <laughs> I'm getting me a pair of these ASAP. So we got to come up with a cooler shoe than Red Link, you guys. That's our goal. Come on. Let's do this. Okay, so leave comments below. We're going to talk some more, more business and figure out the right shoe for us. So check it out. Enter the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you washed away the shea! You washed away all the shea, you Pacific Ocean! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Take that! Stupid! Oh, oh! You took away the shea again! Hey guys, what's going on? It's time for a little break. So here I am in Hermosa Beach, I believe, or Redondo Beach. Or so oh baby, oh baby, that's cool. I'm at the beach. I'm right next to the beach because the Tweak footwear offices are right here. I literally walked 
from the meeting I just had at Tweak Footwear to the ocean. How great is that? Okay, you guys, so it's official. We are actually going to have, it, it almost sounds ridiculous, there's going to be a Shea Carl shoe. You'll be able to buy a shoe if you want that has my face on it. We really do want your guys' suggestions. Um, I was talking about all the other shoes they did for other YouTubers like Red and Link, Olga K, Timothy De La Ghetto, Charles Trippy, Wheezy Waiter, Day Storm, all these other YouTubers they've already built a shoe for. The, the coolest thing about it is all of you guys have suggested ideas for these different shoes. I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to have final say. I want to hear your suggestions. I'm going to say what I think looks good because I want to promote this shoe because I like it. Not just because it's the Shea Carl shoe. I literally want to be able to wear this shoe because I think it looks good and I want to wear it on a day-to-day -day basis. Like Red Link shoe. I loved their shoe. That white one I just showed you, I cannot wait till that comes out. They said it's probably going to be a couple months. But they said as soon as they get those, they'll, they'll give me one for free. <laughs> So you guys, make suggestions. Like I said, I don't want a lot of Shea Carl branding on it. I don't want it to say, hey, I'm vlogging here. I don't want it to have those sayings on it. I want it to be very minimal. Because I want it to be like, you know what I'm saying? A real legit shoe that you would wear and you'd feel cool wearing it. Not just because you're trying to support me. You know what I'm saying? So we're trying to do both things there. So make your suggestions on Facebook. You can put comments below or just go to Tweak's Facebook because they're taking all those ideas and they're incorporating them in their designs with the people they're working with. So go check it out. Links below. Let's make it cool. I really want it to be a good shoe that I feel good about. That's cool. That's cool. That's just the main point. It's got to be cool, bro. Walking on the beach. Beach. Walking on the beach, it's so relaxing. Takes all my stresses away now, baby. All right, today has been super busy with uh, both those shows and then the meeting with them. It's like uh, 4 30, it's almost 5 o'clock. I'm gonna head home. We're gonna go out to Costco because we, uh, we haven't been home for like a week and a half, so we gotta buy a bunch of stuff. And Casey and Kaylee are coming down here tomorrow, so we're actually gonna go buy some stuff for them, like toilet paper and milk and you know, just a few things that you need when you first move in, just so they don't have to worry about it. So when they get here tomorrow, they can move in and have like, you know, paper towels and toilet paper, you know, garbage bags, stuff like that. So we're gonna kind of go get them stocked up, so when they move in, you know, they feel better about the place. Okay, let's go. Daddy. Hi. Dad, I'm filming. What? Dad, I'm filming. <laughs> Are you really filming? Baby tired. Baby tired. Where is it? <laughs> She's got it twice now. Baby tired. Hey, baby tired. How's it going? She's gonna be a camera girl. Do you have any questions girl. for us? We are eating dinner today. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep it out away from your face, baby. Tart. I love you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh. Death and crossbones. We're at Costco. We need these. What are those? Bad you think Braley would like those? Think she'll like some of those? They could use them for me with milk. All right, let's give them to her. Okay, you guys, so it feels like we're Christmas shopping right now because Casey and Kaylee get here tomorrow. So what we're doing is we're going to stock up their house for them so that when they get here, like they have things like a broom and a dustpan and just some few loaves of bread and cascade. Like, we're going to get them you and a punch in the face in about two seconds. So we're getting them stuff like juice and chips and like Lysol and some sponges and some Airwick Island collections so that their house can smell good. Some washer, what, what is that called? Laundry detergent. It'll smell good. <laughs> so, so many farts. We got some Febreze. Because you guys know Casey he has an irritable bowel syndrome. Go to Casey's page and just tell him that... <laughs> it's hard for me to talk about. Hold on. I just... <laughs> He's had it this whole life, this irritable bell. It's like he's always pooping his pants. And it's just like, just you guys go tell me he can make it through it. Okay, guys? Thanks. Leaks below. Let's see it. You got to get it on that cart. Oh, you're a bot, dude. Oh, that's so heavy. You got to get it on the cart. It doesn't count if you don't get it on the cart. Okay. Oh, look at that buff, dude. Look at that buff stud. Yeah. Can you get two of those, dude? We need one more. Okay. You fit two under there? One for us and one for them. Princess Tart, I'm gonna be impressed if you can get this. Power lifting in the head. Don't don't have a hernia, Jeez. And there she laid for all of her days. Oh man. Can you get it on there? 
Yeah, you're buff. Big dinosaurs. These carts turn into these giant, heavy dinosaur carts where it's like, ugh, 500 pounds, I can barely move it. Turn it around. Rock Tart is in no laughing mood right now. He is not in the mood. What are you getting? Edamame. The who what way? It's our favorite snack. It's a healthy snack. They're like french fries. Yeah, that don't taste know. anything like french no, fries. No, they don't at all. <laughs> Dang it. Do you think I could lift half of this? Yes, I believe you could. Oh. So tough. Beats of strength with the shaytards. Oh. And there's a nom 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 and on the toe toe toe. <laughs> Okay, we're not obnoxious. Let's go. See you later. Bye. We got a dump truck of groceries right here. Holy Hannah Montana <laughs> so, is all I can say. It's a dump truck of groceries, that's for sure. Yes. Wowzer spousers. Sure. <laughs> Yay! It's a lot. Holy cow. What are you guys doing? So, what? what do you call it? A <laughs> An assembly line. That's what I'm trying to. Hey, how come you're not helping, dude? Hey, how come you're not helping? Yes. Who's got the food? Like, Mom, I'm not looking at you. I'm not looking at you. Who's got the Windex? Dude, we should be getting paid for all this. Honey made. <laughs> Cascade. Carly likes to suck this up her nose because she's psycho. <laughs> Freeze. That's true. Tide. Hey, everybody, send us money. <laughs> Orange chip bags. I love Yay, those. Yay, we love them. We love chips. And water. Holy, oh, the tired. You're <laughs> wow. Cheese, baby tart. Nope. Let's that one's for baby tart. of grocery. Mac and cheese. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is that. awesome. And surprisingly, Shay, surprisingly it wasn't as much as I thought it would yeah, be. Yeah, it was, it was under $400. Which, that's yeah, I guess a lot. Like so. like that. Awesome. Oh, snap.